Welcome to Real Life. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On today's episode, we're looking at some 1940 footage. Sometimes I get these small reels of film with no information whatsoever. This is one of them, a total mystery. This British manufactured Kodak film has a date code of 1940, which figures prominently due to the subject matter. It looks like we're at a small English harbour town looking north. A good sized motor yacht and two small sailboats passes along with a three masted motor sailor. This next ship is what got me so excited. The Royal Navy destroyer HMS Grafton. HMS Grafton was a G-class destroyer built for the Royal Navy during the mid-1930s and commissioned March 20, 1936. During the Spanish Civil War of 1936 to 1939, the ship spent considerable time in Spanish waters, enforcing the non-intervention measures agreed by Britain and France. The ship was refitting in Malta when World War II began in September. She was transferred from the Mediterranean Fleet to Great Britain for escort and contraband inspection duties. During the siege of Calais, Grafton escorted the light cruisers Arethusa and Galatea as they provided naval gunfire support for the 30th Motor Brigade on 26 May. The following day, she evacuated over 1,600 troops from the beaches of La Panne and Bray, northeast of Dunkirk. On the morning of 29th May, she stopped to rescue survivors from the destroyer Wakeful, which had been torpedoed and sunk earlier that morning by the German E-boat S-30. While rescuing survivors from Wakeful off of Newport, Belgium, Grafton was struck in the stern by a torpedo from the German submarine U-62. This seriously damaged the ship and also triggered a secondary explosion which damaged the bridge, killing the captain, Commander Charles Robinson and Lieutenant Tanner. In total, 15 crew members and 35 evacuated soldiers from Dunkirk were known to have been killed. The ship's back was broken, but she remained afloat long enough for all survivors to be rescued by the destroyer Ivanhoe and transport Malines. Ivanhoe sunk Grafton with naval gunfire as she was too badly damaged to be towed to safety. This very brief footage may be all that exists of HMS Grafton. A rather significant passenger ship is at anchor as the camera pans left to reveal some small storefronts and shops. Where is this? I enjoy history. To discover and preserve a film with such important footage is a real privilege. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Well, join us again. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below and feel free to add more information or corrections. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to help support this channel. See you next time on Real Life.